Well, hello everybody. Going for a little, little drive. Uh, let's uh, get to a topic that we were discussing today. The right age to get married and to have kids. And the right amount of kids to have. There's no right for either of those. Okay, well, let's talk about our perspectives first. I think we all know I do not have the characteristics of a housewife. It doesn't have to be housewife. I am okay, but because a what housewife else is would that? mean that you if weren't that on, you weren't working. If you're on the road, yeah, and I'm home with children, Nannies. that makes me a housewife. Grandparents, grandparents help out. Uh, at the end of the day, you're on tour, filming whatever you're doing, and I'm at home with a child. When I like, I work at night. Well, put the kids. kid in night school. <laughs> But I want the day to myself. I want to hang out during the day with my own self without children running around. What if you came on tour? What do you do with the kids? Like Joe Rogan, who you love, has he has yeah, three daughters. And his wife takes three daughters care and a of wife. All the kids. Yeah, but it like seems most like he takes the time. What about Kevin Hart? Yeah, his wife takes care of the kids and she's like you're never home it fucking sucks yeah but if you had the chance to be married to someone as successful as kevin Hart, i would want to be on tour with you not at home i want to be with you i want to be like living the glam life the glam and then life. and then whoever you're with i get with their wife wives <laughs> and we go do our own thing oh like real housewives no don't you want to travel yeah, I would be traveling on tour. But I, okay, so the kid thing, like, yes, sure, I want kids. But I want to have my own life first. Because once you have a kid. You sound like your mom. You don't really have a life, like, outside of that's, your child. That's not, okay. Outside of your that's child. Not, no, no, it's a different life. It's not, it's not no life. It's just a but different now, life. But now everything that pertains to you is, like, you and child. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I just want me. So I here's am 23. Yes. So here's the issue. Well, it's not really an issue, but it's a moral quandary. Conundrum. You don't know what it's like to have kids until you have kids. Absolutely. And but I can see and what it's once like. and once you have those kids, you go like, "Wow, okay, yes, this ch- has changed my life for the better." Or yeah, I I like being a parent, but I really do miss my time. But it's too late at that point. On the and flip then you side, just resent your kids. No, 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 no. On the flip side, you just say, "Nah, I'm not going to have kids," and then you never know, and you might be missing out on the most incredible aspect of what your life could have been. And Absolutely. and then it's too late. The you only don't reason know. why I want kids is because I don't want to be like alone when I'm eighty. <laughs> Yeah, but, but I don't think friends. that's a good reason to have kids. Well, I think that's what lots of people. You talk to lots of people who are like, "Listen, like you don't. Do you want to be? Do you want to be ninety years old and have nobody? And like, I don't know. The thing is, I'll probably feel differently in like ten years, but I don't. I don't want to. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be a while till I am in that place that I want them. So, and, like, money. Yeah. Unfortunately, I still feel like I felt when I was younger where I I know that there is a big part of me that wants to have kids, but I'm still not at the point where I want to have a kid. Same. Right. So we're on the same page. Kind right. Of. <laughs> but then the uh, what we were talking about before when you were saying, like, listen, if you go, if you have a kind of career where you have to be gone a lot... I do not want to have kids in a situation like that. And I can understand it. It's just a bit of a dilemma. Because I also, like, I want to be able to realize my dream, but I also don't want to be an absentee father. We could just be friends with our friends' kids. I mainly want a kid with you because I know you'd be a really great dad. 
and I would want to see that. You'd hope. What if I'm a horrible dad? You're not. You wouldn't be. I don't know. Children are, like, drawn to you. It's bizarre. They're not drawn to me. <laughs> um, I work with kids, and they like me, but I'm not, like, a super nurturing person. Um, I think with I think it would be really fun if... to see you interacting with the baby. I would just want to, like, watch it from afar, and then at the end of the day, just, like, they can go home, you know? But what if you had, like, a little, a tiny little blonde girl in your lap? If I had a little mini me, that would be amazing. A little blonde girl with, if she with, was like with low green maintenance. eyes or with green, uh, green okay, well, eyes. How, how she looks doesn't really matter. If I knew, I would have, like, a low-maintenance child that didn't throw, like, temper tantrums and was just, like, super sweet they and didn't really cause me problems. They always throw temper tantrums. They if always I had, do. If I had me as a child, we're not having. How do you know how you were I, as a child? I remember. I drove my mom crazy. Like, up the wall. I can't tell you how many times I've heard the phrase, I just want to wring your little chicken neck. <laughs> I like, what? Apparently, I was a bad kid. I always thought I was a good kid. You were definitely a little shit disturber. Yeah. You were the youngest. You were probably just... Bugging the crap out of everyone. Well, my in my head, I was good and everyone was bothering me. <laughs> of course. But recently, people have told me that, no, I was, in fact, a little... Heck, I can believe that. That's a good move. Good job, sir. Good job. Good job, sir. What the heck, man? Stupid. Ugh, like even seeing a group of kids, I'm like. You're you're just a bad person. I am a bad person. Okay, bye everyone. It's been a slice of something. I'm not sure what. <laughs>